Hi everyone, welcome back to Valve Camp. At Valve Camp, I would like to introduce you to the range of hygienic products manufactured in our Pentier Hamilton facility. Last time, I showed, talked about the F250 butterfly valve, the uh, F257 actuator, and the F783 control top. Uh, we pulled down an F250 and had a look inside. Now I'd like to show you a bit more detail about the F257 actuator. It's a quarter turn actuator, it comes in three sizes. We have the 065, uh, generates around about 50 newton meters of torque with a spring engaged. Uh, the 100 size generates about 75 newton meters of torque. And the 140, it's about 260 newton meters of torque and it's 190 in the old money, 190 pound feet. Just to give you an idea of how the mechanism works, we've got a cutaway here. We have a uh, actuator gets pressed, the cylinder piston gets pressed down by air. As it goes down, this gudgeon slides, slides around on the groove and that rotates the shaft. Simple. So that one of course hasn't got a spring. Here we have one with a spring installed. Uh, spring holds it in the upper position. Air will drive that down, spring will return, or you can have air return as well. The spring is captured in a cage, and I'll pull one apart in a moment and show you how that cage works. Just before we go to pull this down, I'll just point out something about the cap, the end caps on these actuators. We have two varieties. This is what we call the blank head. It takes a uh, high visibility target, a big round target on the top there, and uh, air is put into the actuator from the side. And then we have another version, which is this one here, which is the, called the control top head. And in this one, we have vents in the top here and air comes in directly from the control top. I think I remembered, I said last time about the control top being internally ported. These ports here come from the airlines, from the solenoid, down through here, into the actuator and one above the uh, piston and one below. So that'll operate the piston up and down. So control top head or um, actuator head, uh, top cap that one's called, and this one's called the blank head, that's a difference. If you have made a mistake in ordering and you need one or the other, we have kits for both. It's just, and it's a complete assembled kit with the bushes, the seals, everything you need, just to take one out and put the other one on. I want to show you a couple of points about pulling this down. And the first thing is we really need to supply air to the top of the actuator to rotate this so I can get to this pin properly. And for that, I'll need to change out the safety glasses because we're using compressed air. Simply a matter of putting a little bit of air on the top, operating the actuator, and taking a pin punch and hammer and tapping this pin out. Now, you will notice the pin is bent. That's deliberate. It's the spring action that holds it together. Now I release the air. And slide that collar off. And we're good to start pulling it down. Now we have the actuator safely secured in a vise, uh, we can start taking the top off. This uh, indicator set is just prized off with a screwdriver, fairly straightforward. We have two nuts on top, 13 millimeter spanner will take care of them. Now, inside here we have a spring under tension. It's trapped in a cage, but what we're going to do is as we unscrew these nuts, we're going to watch this lid right up until the cage catches the spring. If we get to the point where we're only one turn away from coming off and the cage doesn't catch the spring, caution, warning, danger, don't go any further until we've worked out what's going on. But in this case, I'm fairly sure this cage is okay. Undo them evenly, otherwise you'll distort the plastic cap. You'll follow, see the, the top is following the nuts as I unscrew them, gap's getting greater. Now we're getting to the point where the tension should start falling off the bolts. And 
there we are the tensions off the bolts the cage has caught the spring and we're good to go we need now a little bit of compressed air just to pop this out um, don't plug the air into this port and energize it there's a very good reason for not doing that we'll just grab a uh, an air hose and just give it a little bit of a squirt up the B port and you'll see it pop loose and now we are safe to take the top off these washers and keepers will fall out here we have the unique device that allows us to feed the air in through the top and down into the bottom of the actuator just be aware you should only use the yellow hose that comes in the kit for this uh, the black hose uh, the black uh, tubing is not good enough and that is the internals we can now haul it out move the piston cage spring and that is it simple as that